What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be talking about do you need special substrate to have a nice planted aquarium? And the short answer, no, you don't. Um, all of my planted aquariums I run either sand or gravel and all I do is dose liquid fertilizers or use root tabs. And a lot of times many of that isn't even needed. I don't dose any liquid fertilizers or use root tabs in this tank at all. All I have running is a filter for a little bit of surface agitation, get that CO2 in there from the atmosphere, and the air we breathe keeps a little CO2 in there, and then I just run a little LED light. Nice and simple, and as you can see, plants are growing very, very well. I actually just cleaned this tank out. I removed about 50% of the plants that were in here yesterday because it's growing so well. Um, I pulled a ball of java moss out about this big. I took three quarters of the anacarus plant here out um, and I pulled some of the java ferns out because they were growing so tall and I put them in other tanks. Now, uh, one thing I want to talk about specifically is how to grow aquarium plants in gravel. Because a lot of people reach out and they say, hey, you know, what substrate do I have to put in my aquarium to be able to grow plants? And I say, well, what do you have in there right now? And they say, oh, just gravel. Perfect. That'll work great. And they always give me this look like, what? But all these people are always using EcoComplete and Fluval Stratum and all these other crazy planted substrates and I thought I needed that. And the straight answer is maybe for some plants, but not everything. So for this aquarium here, I just want to show you guys, we got some java fern growing. Now these plants here are attached to uh, rocks and some of them are attached to driftwood and some of them are even attached to a little coconut husk ball. Um, and they're just sitting in here. So that's how those are set up. So they're not in the gravel at all. They're just kind of stuck there. The anacarus is floating. So that's just floating up around the top. That might shoot runners down into the substrate if it can't get enough nutrients out of the water column. Um, but mine just kind of hangs out at the top and that's it. Uh, we got a big ball of java moss in here still. Um, this plant up top, I do not remember the name off the top of my head. But I'm going to get the name of that plant and I will display it right here for you guys. Um, but that is growing extremely well. I do have some Amazon swords that were little dwarf baby Amazon swords. I planted them in the back. They're doing extremely well. Now I know what you're saying is, hey, those are root feeding plants. How are you getting root feeding plants to grow in gravel? And the answer with that is mulm, fish mulm, which is fish poop that's been broken down by bacterial colonies creating fish poop powder basically, right? and muck. So I don't vacuum the substrate in this tank at all. I let the plants handle all of that. And I'm actually going to show you the root structures of some of these plants underneath the tank. The way I built these stands, you can actually see the glass bottoms, which means you can see the root structures on these plants, which is something that I think is really cool. And I'll show you a couple different tanks that I have with gravel and some with sand, um, so you can see the root structures. But this is going to be a shorter video, but the long answer to um, the short answer to can you grow aquarium plants in gravel? Absolutely, you can. You absolutely can. And you can have amazing tanks and the results like this simply by just using gravel and feeding your snails and your shrimp or your fish. So, this tank here is shrimp. You can see a couple shrimp here, maybe. I'll get a little B roll when I'm shooting the, the root systems of the shrimp and the snails, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to grab the camera, we'll spin it around, and I'll show you guys these plants and root systems a little better. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is this aquarium size. This is a 15 gallon aquarium. So basically, if you're not familiar, it's the same footprint as a 20 gallon high, like you see below it here, but it's just a little bit shorter. So 15 gallon. Now if we come in here, I'll show you guys some of the shrimp. Got some shrimp there. You got some up here. I think I have 10 or 11 shrimp in this tank total, but most of them hide in that java moss so you can't see them all the time. But there's quite a few in here. Um, lots of snails. We got a lot of, oh, there's another one right there. Lots of ram's horn snails. We also have some bladder snails. And the bladder snails usually turn into puffer food, and I'm trying to get a good colony of the ram's horn going. Um, I did just move some of them to another tank. You got all the little baby java fern plants, some of the 
larger plants back here. Java moss. We got Java moss on top. This other plant, and as you can see, the sword plants in the back, as well as the anacharis. So overall, a very nice, simple tank. So let's check out the root systems on these plants. So you can see the one Amazon sword right there has got a root system down through the gravel, and you can see the mulm build up in the gravel itself. And that's what the plant is using for food. Now the other one I can't really show you because I still have the sticker on the tank here. I keep all my stickers on the bottoms of the tank in case anything ever happens because Aquian does have warranties on their aquariums. So there's that one. So we'll come over here to my Crebensis tank. Now these guys actually have a whole bunch of fry in here. They are currently feeding on the sponge filter. And we have some down here as well. But if we get underneath this tank, you can see the root structure on that Amazon sword. And if you're wondering what all those brown spots are, the substrate is black diamond blasting sand and it does have little bits of iron in it so any plants that are very iron demanding that iron breaks down and then the plants can use that so that's iron and then my guppy tank right here with all my guppies in it big ball of java moss there and some amazon swords over here and this is just black gravel and you can see the root structure from that one there. So as you guys can see, root structures and things like that, um, these plants are able to grow in gravel, so you don't need a special substrate. You don't have to change your substrate. You could have lime green, hot pink, blue gravel, it doesn't matter. Plants will grow as long as they have what they need to be able to survive and then thrive in these living conditions. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching Trout Fish Aquatics. As always, links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.